Today we are going to hear the story of Mary, the mother of the Son of God, Jesus. Mary was a maiden who lived in Nazareth, a small town in the city of Galilee. She was betrothed to get married to a young man called Joseph, who was a carpenter. Mary was an obedient servant of the Lord and blindly believed in God. One day, as she was cleaning up her house, an angel of God named Gabriel appeared to her and said, Mary, God has chosen you as the woman who is going to give birth to the Messiah. Mary was scared. Gabriel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will soon bear a son and you shall name him Jesus. He will be the Son of God and the greatest of all. The world will be his kingdom and there will be no end to it. The faithful, obedient and trusting servant of God that Mary was, she submitted herself to the Lord's will. She said, Whatever the Lord says, I am the servant of the Lord. But how will I bear a son? And the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of God will overshadow you and your holy child shall be born. The earth will have with them the Son of God. Saying this, Gabriel left. Hearing this news, Mary immediately went to Elizabeth. Elizabeth was the wife of Zechariah, who was destined to give birth to John the Baptist. When Elizabeth heard the news from Mary, the baby in Elizabeth's womb leapt in glory, and soon Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She said, You are the blessed one among all the women, Mary, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why did the Lord shower so much favor on me that the mother of my Lord should come to visit me? The moment I heard your news with my ears, the baby inside me leapt in joy. The Lord has blessed you, Mary, for the immense faith you have in the Lord. Few days passed, and one night Joseph had a dream. An angel appeared to him and guided him to go to Bethlehem with Mary. The journey was long and very tiring for Mary. Once they reached Bethlehem, it was time for Mary to give birth to the Son of God. Soon, Mary gave birth to baby Jesus in a manger, where all the animals bowed down at the sight of the baby. It is believed that Mary was Jesus' first disciple. When Jesus was still very young, they were invited to a wedding at Cana in Galilee. The wine at the wedding had run out, so Mary came up to Jesus and said, They have no wine. To this, Jesus replied very gently, What can I do, mother? My hour has not come yet. Mary understood what Jesus was trying to say. She believed in his words and said to the servants, Do as he says. That's when Mary became Jesus' very first disciple. She had faith in him as the Son of God. Jesus was not the only child of Mary. Mary gave birth to other children also, who were addressed as Jesus' brothers in many places in the Bible. The day Jesus was to be crucified, Mary, Mary Magdalene, and Mary's sister, all of them, stood next to Jesus' cross. When Jesus saw his mother, he looked at John, his most loved disciple, and said, Behold your mother! Then he looked at his mother and said, Behold your son. From that moment onward, John took Mary to his home and loved her no less than his own mother. After Jesus' death, Mary, the mother of Jesus, along with his twelve disciples and the other women, prayed together for the Spirit in Jerusalem. They committed their lives to devotion and prayer. So, 
Mary of Nazareth was one of the most important women of the Bible as she gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God.